Welcome to the video showing you how to configure VLANs on a Cisco 2950 switch via howtonetwork.net. If you go to racks.howtonetwork.net you can actually configure some live Cisco routers and switches if you don't actually have access to your own live equipment. When you go to the racks.howtonetwork.net you can see there's three racks to choose from. If you go to the basic rack, if you just want to do some simple VLANs between two routers you can use that rack and you can see we've got three routers and a switch. If you wanted to do some more advanced VLANs and trunk in, you can use the switching rack there. Alright, so here's the topology we're working from. We've got router A connected to router B, just between a 2950 switch. And you can see the IP addresses are very simple and the interface names. This diagram will come back into the video a few times as we're configuring the labs. So what I've done is opened up a session on router A, which is the router on the left hand side. And just to make sure we remember which router we're configuring, we've changed the host name to router A. And we're just seeing what our choices are for the fast ethernet interface. And on this particular router, it's fast ethernet 0 slash 0. So we've got a modular connection on there. So what we do is just put on the IP address 192.168.1.1, which you can see on the diagram there. You can see the interface has come up. Now I've logged into router B on the right hand side. And we're going to go to interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 on that router and add an IP address. And this time it would be 1.2. When you plug routers into a switch it's all configured on to be on VLAN 1. So technically if all you wanted to do was plug and play all you have to do is plug routers in IP address and you should be able to ping from one side to the other. So we've got, what we're going to do now is put a host name on router B. We've put the IP address on, so what I want to do is ping from router B to router A. Now you can see there hasn't been a response at the moment. That can often be very common if you've only just turned on the switch. It takes a while to populate the CAM table. So the first ping we only had one reply and the second ping we've had five replies. Okay, the objective of the lab is to configure VLANs. So what we're going to take, we do is take the switch and instead of using the flat VLAN 1, we're going to put these two router interfaces into VLAN 2. So the first command is VLAN database and we're going to create a VLAN and call it Cisco. You can see the switch is now in VLAN configuration mode, so we'll exit out of there. And what we need to do is configure the two interfaces that the fast ethernet on the routers are connected to on the switch. So router A is connected to interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1. I've actually put in speed 100. You don't need to change that on the switch. That's actually on there by default. And I'm going to put on duplex full. Pretty sure switches are usually configured to auto detect duplex but it may be a good idea to hard set it to 100. And I'm going to do the same on the other side, on interface fast ethernet 0 slash 3 on the switch. You can see we're getting some duplex mismatch messages. I'll show you how to fix that shortly if that happens when you're configuring a switch or, or router. Okay, so we're going to put the interface into VLAN 2. And to do that we type in the command switch port access VLAN 2. I'm going to do the same for fast ethernet 0 slash 1 on the switch. So very simple config on the switch. You don't even need to change the duplex or the speed if you wish. All you do is configure the, the, the name of the VLAN and then switch port access. So we've got this duplex mismatch which basically means we have a a different duplex on the switch to what we have on the router. So just like to see what the duplex is configured as. And on the router, router A, it's half duplex, which isn't what we want. The speed is correct, it's 100. So we're going to go to interface, fast ethernet 0 slash 0, and we're going to change the duplex to full. And the speed was correct anyway, but just in case, I'm going to type in speed 100. Alright, and I'm going to do the same on router A. I'm just going to hard set the duplex to be full with the duplex space full command. OK, 
Okay, whenever you get informational messages, you might just want to press enter a couple of times to get back to the router command. And this time I'm going to ping from router A to router B, and this time both interfaces have been put into VLAN 2 on the switch. Again, when you make changes on a switch, they don't take immediately, it can take 30 seconds or so. So, first time you see all your pings failing, don't worry. Just be patient, and then you can press the up arrow to generate the same command, and we'll see if we get any reply this time. Okay, we had eight, we had a 100% reply this time. If we do a show ARP, we can see that the MAC address for router A uh, and B has been stored. So the ARP, the ARP table has been populated. So we can see it ends in 5F40. And just to prove we're, we're right, we'll do a show interface 0 slash 0 on router B. And we can see that the MAC address there is the same, it ends in 5F40. Just so you know how to do some troubleshooting and how to look at the ARP table. Okay, so we've come to the end of the lab. Thanks a lot for watching. It's on howtonetwork.net and it's racks.howtonetwork.net.